Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Today we're opening another Miniverse Make It Mini Diner Series 3 Wave 1. Yeah, there's only been one wave, so let's see what's inside. I can already tell what it is. I see a cupcake stand, and there's only one cupcake for the series, and that's the Ube ones. So those will be cute. The stand goes like this. They always come a little, a little squished and lopsided. Of course we get our diner table, instructions. Those are really cute, I like the purple. Really vibrant. And of course, purple sprinkles. And then the resin is also purple because it's ube. So no color um, <laughs> differences here. Purple, purple, and purple. Let's put these together. Here are the cupcakes on the recipe sheet. Pretty easy, not much to it. As you icing them, adding sprinkles, curing, not much to it. Not a complicated recipe. Sometimes there are complicated ones, but these ones are pretty easy. I will definitely take them out of the pan though. And they are purple through and through. I thought maybe the purple wrappers would have a design or maybe something different on it, but it doesn't. Um, they did give us a spatula. And this resin is lighter. It's almost, I mean, it does look like ube, but it's kind of more like a pink. And in the past, I have not been a fan of doing the cupcakes because I get resin all over my hand, but I'm going to try to hold it with these tweezers. I love these tweezers. I got a whole set of them and it comes with maybe four. Some of them are really thin and sharp, but this one, it has like rounded edges, so it's not going to poke or damage anything. And I like that one a lot. Trying to lay it right. I think that looks good. I guess you could cure it and then add more if you want tall cupcakes. We'll do one at a time and see. I mean, those are pretty cute. I get that they're not very exciting though. Everything's one color. No dimensions. Ooh, I do like a lot of sprinkles though. I could add other colors, obviously. I have lots of leftovers from previous sets, but I think I'll just do it as it is. But I feel like it needs a pop of a different color. Okay, I did a few and I set those outside. But let's do some more. Ooh, why is it chunky? Some of the pieces in there look a little chunky. But holding it with the pliers or tweezers, whatever these things are, definitely helps. I just kind of circle around to get all the edges and then I take a big glop and I just keep patting it around until it lays how I want it to lay. And of course look at it from all sides, make sure it's not lopsided and you like how it looks. I try to make mine kind of tall and then you could hit it with the sprinkles. Of course they will fall everywhere but then you can pick those up and turn it and just drop it in the bare spots. Then I do have a toothpick. Gently press some of them in if they look like they're not really touching too much. You can also use them to push the icing if you think it moved. Then you set them outside or use a UV light for about five or 10 minutes. 
These are how the cupcakes turned out. I think they're cute. A little plain. Maybe too much purple. My daughter would probably say, you can never have too much purple because that's her favorite color. I tried to straighten this stand. She's still leaning. It's the top piece that goes in that's bent and there's no fixing that. But here's how they turned out. Let me know what you think and which one you're excited the most for from this set. Since I already did the bento box a long time ago, it has to be the salad and the ribs. Definitely looking forward to finding those. But as always, thank you so much for watching. Bye guys.